Hey guys, welcome back to program of entering this episode. We're going to talk about a question that is, should we install an antivirus into the new MacBooks or any of the MacBooks that we use? Or are these systems immune to any of the virus attacks or malware attacks? So should we use the antivirus nowadays that is available or should we not use them? So that is a big question. So guys, one thing, specifically what I can say as part of my experience, I have been using Windows machine for more than seven to eight years of my life. And I have also used now MacBooks and Mac OS for more than three to four years now. So I'm a kind of a person who has actually transitioned from Windows to Mac OS. And since I was previously a Windows user most often, so I used to continuously use Windows so when I was using Windows, the one thing that was really important was to have an antivirus. Even though we have Windows defenders nowadays, and that is said to be a good already defending system for the viruses and the malware attacks. But I chose to use an antivirus into the Windows machines because there was a lot of number of times when I got any of the malwares or there was a threat attack. So for that one specific reason, I always used an antivirus into the Windows machine. But when I transition to the Mac OS, in this Mac OS, we get to see that we do not have any kind of a virus attack or the threat attack. Because specifically if we say over here, so there isn't very less chances that we can get any kind of a viruses or threats into the machine. But specifically speaking, these machines are not completely immune to viruses and threat attacks. So there can be sometimes that a certain malware can actually enter into a machine and try to damage up the data. So that is a one reason why I would consider to install an antivirus still because firstly you do not need in this machine. So that is very clear that these machines are already really secured as compared to any of the Windows machine. These, if you continue to even use the machine without an antivirus for a very long period of time, you won't come to notice any of the problems or security issues. Because these are actually built to perform with all kind of circumstances and with all the securities into it. So it's one of the most secure environment in which you're working because there's no paid ads into it. There's no paid softwares, no bloat softwares into it already that comes pre-installed. So it's one of the most secure platforms you're already working on. But then too, I would choose to install one of the antiviruses that can provide me much more level of security and, and security for, and for detection as well for threats, malwares or for any kind of viruses. So that can actually provide me because back into the past, Apple actually had a tagline that said that we don't get viruses. So this was one of the taglines and one of the statements by Apple, but which was dropped back in 2012. So Apple dropped that statement that we don't get viruses. So if that statement was actually dropped by Apple, so that means that these systems are not completely immune and resistant to the viruses and the threat attacks. And that shows a little sign of possibility that there can still be some entrances or some spaces where there can be some attacks, some malwares entering into the machine. And for that one reason, just to be secured onto a higher note, I would choose to install one of the antiviruses provided by Kaspersky or McAfee. That's completely not onto our choice. So I specifically try to go around with Kaspersky because I have always used that one of one antivirus. So if you ask me my preference for antivirus, it would be obviously Kaspersky. Because since 2010, when I started to use a machine or a laptop or a computer, I always used this one antivirus and it worked really well for the detection, the scanning and protection for all the security needs. It was one of the best antiviruses that I have always used on my machine. So guys, this is my complete thoughts on this topic. And if you've got any more questions and any more doubts, please leave that down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to answer that. And if you liked our video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.